Hi, so today we're looking at the Rencom PC package and we're plugged into Renault Capture 2016. So we'll do an auto scan first, put the model Renault and Capture and then go. So it's now trying to scan all the car and talk to all the different control modules around the car. It should give us a report at the end. Nearly done. Okay, so it's now given us a list of all the control modules it's talked to on the car and showing us which of them have fault codes. So if we have a look down, there's a few here with fault codes. So we can go into those and have a look at the different fault codes and see what they are. So start if we have a look at the engine. So go in there first. Okay, so let's just see now what the control module information is. Tells us about the engine there, gives us all part numbers. And now let's just drop back to check if there's any fault codes. Okay, we've got no fault codes in the engine, which is good. So we can drop back and look at something else on the engine. So let's have a look at the uh, measured value, so the live data. So you've got quite a list here of live data parameters that are offered on this engine. So it's the clutch pedal, let's try that one. Press the clutch, there we go, and release. So you can see that's changing live there. But there's a whole range of other parameters. We haven't got the engine running or we could show you something else, but you can just see if we go right to the bottom of the list, what's on there. So there's plenty of live data values to choose from. So if you scroll back up to the top. Okay, now if we just drop back, let's have a look at the, uh, see what we've got in actuators. So these are all the things that we can actuate and actually run. It's got different injectors, all sorts there. So let's check the ECU programming and coding. Various different settings that we can change on the vehicle. And configuration. So there we go, so we can actually configure or add extra modules there. Right, so if we drop back out the engine, you can now go and have a look at another module. So let's have a look. Which other module should we go into next? Um, which other one had a fault code? Uh, so look at the ABS. And check for fault codes. There goes the fault code. So we can drop back out. So going to look at the live measuring values. Again, a good range of live data. So let's have a look at the uh, brake pedal. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is at the top. Okay, so press the brake and release. There we go, that's working well. And let's see what actuations we've got. There's some brake bleeding. Okay. Now let's look at the module coding. And finally the configuration. There's a couple of options that we could change in there if we wanted to. So let's go and have a look at the instruments. Okay, so let's check if there's any fault codes. Oh, there's one fault code there. So let's drop back. So look at the live data measuring values that we've got offered by the instrument cluster. Now the list there, let's have a look, uh, what's the odometer? There we go, 9,500 miles. And let's check what actuators we've got. There's a few there we can play with. 
and the programming and coding. There was nothing offered on this module. Configuration. There we go. We've got three configuration options on this instrument cluster. Let's drop back. Right, so which other modules we've got fault codes in? Uh, oh, in fact, the body control module. Let's check what that fault code is. Okay, go back. Let's have a look at what live data we've got in here. Again, we've got quite a list in here of live data parameters. Okay, so let's drop back now and look at the actuations. So we've got a few actuations there that we could run on here in the body control module. So let's drop back and now let's have a look at the configuration options. There's a few configuration options available there for the uh, body control module. Okay, let's go back and let's have a look what else have we got fault codes in. Um, uh, scroll down here. Uh, oh, there's a navigation system. Let's have a look at that. So what's the fault code that we had in here? Okay. Right, let's have a look at the measuring values. Not many there. That's why it's navigation, so you wouldn't expect many. And there's the actuations. Let's have a look at the coding. So one option there, configuration. We've got a couple of configuration options on there. Okay, let's just drop back. And that's just about everything I was going to show you for today. But if you've got any questions or want any more information about the package, please just give us a shout at gendan.co.uk.